Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to solve a question of lead code that is a sequence. It is 392nd question on lead code and it comes under easy category. All right. So let's just start with the problem statement. Given two strings S and T, return true if S is a subsequence of T or false otherwise. A subsequence of a string is a new string that is formed from the original string by deleting some of the characters without disturbing the relative positions of the remaining characters. So basically in this question we have given two strings. First one is S and second one is T. So we need to check whether all the characters of S string belongs to T or not. And the another thing we need to check whether they are in the same sequence or not. If we need to check only the number of characters which belongs to S is also belonging to T, then it would have been an anagram quotient which we can easily solve through hashing. But in this quotient, we have given a sequence. So for the sequence, we can use a generic approach that is through dynamic programming and recursion. But those approaches would take a lot of time to you know, a lot of time to run or compile. So the most optimized and the easiest way to solve this question is the two pointer approach. So in the two pointer approach, what we gonna do is we will be placing two pointers. First one at the zeroth index of S and second one at zeroth index of T. All right, so let's just quickly code the solution. So let's take two pointers. Let's name it in P1 is equal to zero which will be placing at the at the zeroth index of s and second pointer is pin p2 is equal to 0 which is the zeroth index of t all right so now let's run a while loop until both of them like any one of them is zero all right so like while p1 is less than s dot size and p2 is less than t dot size like if any one of them is equal to zero like if any one of them is out of the index then we will just break this while loop so let's check the condition if sp1 is equal equal to t p2 so in this condition we are checking whether both the characters are equal or not if both the characters are equal then we will just increment the p1 pointer because we are checking the 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 substring of the first one so p1 will be incremented and in all the iterations we will just increment p2 like we will be checking from this string t1 like the second string so we will just increment p2 in each iteration and if both the strings are like both the characters of particular index are equal then only we will increment the pointer of first string all right so at the end what we will be checking like if we have iterated through whole string so it means the each, each character belongs to the t and it is in the correct sequence so in that condition what we will be doing we will be just returning true from here so just return like if p1 is equal equal to s dot size then we will be returning true from here else in other conditions we will be returning false from here all right so now let's just try to run it yeah it's working fine now let's just submit it it's working fine so now let's just calculate the time and space complexity so time complexity of this solution is big o of n and space complexity of this solution is big o of 1 since we are storing constant spaces here so the space complexity is big o of 1 and time complexity is big o of n because we are trading through all the n elements of both the strings Alright, so that's it for this video. I hope you understood the solution. If you still have any doubt in this question or if you didn't understood the solution, feel free to comment it down. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.